we're gonna go ahead and go over War Turtle's moveset in this video. War Turtle is a little bit slower to move around than Charmeleon is, but his moveset allows him to stay in. So you have to work a little harder to open up your opponent, but once you do, you should be able to stay in and do as much damage as you possibly can, as quickly as you can. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, let's start with Aqua Tail. Pretty quick move, um, knocks down, and cooldown is pretty low, so you can do it pretty frequently. Next up is Aqua Jet. Dashing move, can't do it that often, but it moves you pretty quick on the ground. Uh, we have Headbutt, which has a unique property that we'll go over in a little bit. And then we have Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin, if you are familiar with the original games, will remove hazards from the screen, such as Stealth Rock or Spikes. Um, so Headbutt, as you can see, stuns for an extremely long time when you land it. However, it only does it once per combo. So if you try it again, it does not stun anywhere near as long, and you'll leave yourself open if you try that. So you have to use it very sparingly. Um, you can notice when the stun has been active by seeing the blue spark uh, hit effect. Show it just one more time so you can see it. Yep, there it is. There's a few other game moves in the game that have that property, and this is the first one we'll be showing. Let's go ahead and show what you can do with his moveset, just a quick little combo. You can do more than that, but that is a pretty easy, basic starter. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to his special form. Alright, so this one is kind of similar again to how Charmeleon plays. You want to stay at a very specific range, but we've got a little bit of, a little bit more options on this one. So we'll start with Scald. This one builds up a burn very quickly. Landing three at a pretty reasonable amount of time will burn. And now, well, we've activated Jolteon's ability as well. But now he's got damage over time and his damage output is lower. Um, so we'll go ahead next move. That's Aura Sphere. Good move to just throw out. You can dodge out of it as you can see here. You can also cancel it into something else pretty much whenever you want. Really good move, you can throw it out a lot. Um, we have Withdraw, well the effect is off on that one, no big deal though. It uh, raises your defense stage by one, can't do it terribly often, but it's going to allow you to survive quite a bit longer. And then finally we have Surf. Very decent move, uh, really hard to, well really hard to miss it if you are doing it at proper times. Um, it also tracks really well as you can see. Um, Jolteon's pretty quick, so you're still able to get away from it. Um, yeah, it's a really good move to use sparingly. It's also got a very unique property. Um, go ahead and show that now. You cannot be stunned while you're doing it. Now, you will take damage if you get hit, uh, if you get hit at the right time. Let's try that one more time. Yep. He's, uh, he's got, if you play fighting games, he's got what's called super armor during that movement. Yep, see there you go. He actually, War Turtle actually got hit, but didn't flinch. He can take one hit before he flinches, so if you manage to land a multi-hit move at a good amount of time, then you're pretty much, will knock him right out of it. But it's a good move and you want to respect it. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and move on to his support moveset. Alright, here we go. So this one is very different from Charmeleon's. It's a little bit more self-serving. But at the same time, it can help your team out if you want to focus just on one uh, or a couple of moves. So we'll go ahead and start with that first move. So reflect, let's show what happens if you uh, take damage normally. So 100 damage from that move, but with reflect active, we're down to 50. So that effectively cuts damage output uh, from the other team in half. I can swap to somebody else and reflect will stay active. He's active for a pretty reasonable amount of time, I think it's somewhere around 15 or 16 seconds, I don't really remember, but it's up there. Um, so next up we have Bubble Beam. Pretty decent move, it's very similar to how Scald works in terms of its speed and its range. Uh, major difference, you're not building up a status, but instead you're negatively affecting their speed stats. So as you can see, Jolteon is progressively moving slower and slower up to a point where we will max 
max it out at negative six and it's just not doing very much at all. You of course can get out of this by just swapping. So if I switch to Marowak, he does not, he's not effective and neither is Jolteon when he comes back in, we'll bring him back in a little later. Uh, we have Aqua Tail, should be pretty familiar, it's the same move as the physical move. And then finally, let's go ahead and take a little bit of damage. So Life Dew will quickly do a quick little heal on you. It's not very much and the cooldown is extremely low, but the idea here is to just keep yourself alive as long as possible. Um, just to set up that next reflect so you can move in and out. He's not going to be doing very much. Combos are going to be extremely low, but that's just kind of how the support class works. Okay, and finally let's go ahead and show off War Turtles Specialist class. So this one is both familiar and unique at the same time. This one you'll see some similar moves. For example, we have uh, Protect, which uh, Charmeleon also has. And then we have Bubble Beam, which we've also seen. We've got a couple of new ideas here. Um, one would be Aqua Ring. Let's go ahead and drop my HP down the one so we can see this functioning. If I activate it, I slowly, very slowly heal over time. The theory behind this move is you're gonna have it active as much as you possibly can. It's not gonna save you from anything major, but it will keep you alive if you manage to avoid damage for a considerable amount of time. Finally, we have Toxic. Let's go ahead and fully heal for that. Uh, upon landing it, uh, we go ahead and just instantly poison. Um, and that will very slowly do damage over time. We can also rebuild it by landing it again. Have to be careful of this move, however, because the range is very specific. You're going to miss it if you're too close. Um, Bubble Beam can help you set it up if you land it at about this range. Uh, however, it's something that you're going to want to be very careful with. So the idea behind this moveset is basically you're going to hit and run, you're going to poison, you're going to try and protect yourself, you're going to go for Bubble Beam when you can, and then you're also going to keep off the ring active. So I think that will close it out for this moveset. And finally, let's go ahead and show off his Z move. We'll do it on Marowak really quick. You can see the damage output is extremely high, but of course, keep in mind that he is weak, so it's just gonna look more strong than it really is. At any rate, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.